Hey everybody. So it appears that Microsoft really, really, really wants to encrypt your computer's drives. So they're planning on force enabling BitLocker in Windows 11 24H2. Isn't that wonderful? So without your consent, Microsoft is going to encrypt your computer's drives. Again, who owns the computer? Do you own it? I think Microsoft actually owns it. And of course, I did a rant a little while back, and I'll put a card to that if you want to watch it. But yeah, so Microsoft, they, they're, it's getting, they're getting carried away with this stuff. I mean, they're putting ads in the operating system that you pay for. They're encrypting your drives, whether you like it or not. They're setting these really high system requirements, which I call the Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements, uh, which in many cases you can bypass. But in later builds of Windows 11, they are, of course, strengthening the hard requirements. So, for example, in Windows 11 24H2, you must now have SSE 4.2 on your CPU in order for it to support Windows 11. And let's not forget, they are um, turning off features in newer builds of Windows 11, like, for example, removing WordPad. So, it's just so ridiculous. I mean, now, when you go to clean install Windows 11, 24H2, before you even complete the out-of-box setup, supposedly, they are already encrypting your computer's drives with BitLocker. Which is just insanely ridiculous. I don't want it turned on. I mean, for one thing, it can, of course, cause performance loss on your system because of I mean, BitLocker, when it's enabled, can slow things down. And not everybody wants their computer's hard drives or SSDs to be slowed down. Now, the good news is, from what I'm seeing, you can turn this off before you even install your OS. And the way you do that is actually using Rufus. Um, so, newer builds of Rufus, which I've featured in videos um, on this channel, on how to bypass the Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements Windows 11. Um, those newer builds of Rufus also have a check mark option to disable BitLocker drive encryption. So when you go to set this up, which I recommend using Rufus, I mean it does a number of different things. It can bypass the Elite Class System checks, it can bypass the requirement for internet um, connectivity, just a complete setup. You can have it automatically create a username under whatever name you specify. You can have it specify your uh, local region settings and you can also have it turn off BitLocker. So I highly suggest that um, you go watch either my video or any video on how to set up a Windows 11 installer using Rufus and of course in there you'll see the option to turn off BitLocker drive encryption. And when you have that checked Windows 11 24H2 should not automatically begin encrypting your drives by default. It's insane. It's just so freaking insane. Microsoft, they think they own your computer. They really think they own your computer. I mean, as I've said in the previous videos, all the things I mentioned earlier, but they also own certain computers, automatically flash, flash your computer's motherboard firmware or BIOS, which is just, it's just overboard insane. Anyways, Microsoft, they need to cut it out with, with this stuff. But at least there is a way you can get around this, at least for now. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel. That's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for your support.